our featured bout of the night. It's Roosevelt Roberts and Garrett Gross. Gross, the older and more experienced fighter. Roosevelt Roberts, uh, 6'2", a definite height advantage. You can see the reach advantage as well. He's, he's rangy, he's cagey, he's a scrappy fighter. Garrett Gross uh, could have his hands full in this one. Jason Herzog, our referee, First round, fight, you for ready? our final bout fight, you ready? of the fight. evening. Garrett Gross wearing the red trunks. Glory to God is his nickname. Signs every tweet. All glory to God. And Roosevelt Roberts. There it is. The head already. It's got that. It's. It's. I don't know. I mean, Gross is doing a good job of going over the shoulder and not letting me fully squeeze it. But this might be trouble. He's fought. There we go. Good job there from Gross. What? Well, it's exactly what Sean Shelby said on the walkout, right? You gotta be able to defend that. Yep. And that's exactly what I'm talking about, is that Roberts comes out very aggressive and forces you to, oh, he's in your face right away. Your natural reaction is kind of close the distance, and as the taller, longer fighter, he just immediately starts wrapping up your neck and making you panic a little bit. See, again, he's going for it right away. He wants him to level change. He wants him to drop down, and he wants to get take his longer, leaner arms and just go right in for that guillotine. And you could you could hear Gross's corner saying he's looking to get that again. Yeah, see, and what Gross did to adjust to that is he's got his forehead pressed up under Robert's chin. Roberts does a great job, controls his face and pushes him off. Drops for his own takedown. Yeah, he's the one that goes for that level change. And whoop. Nice job there from Roberts. He wants to take it back. Big slam. And he's got him up against the fence, and his back isn't up against the fence. So this is kind of a, an awkward position to be up against the cage like that. This is almost the same position that Heinisch was able to land some of those elbows and cut open his opponent. Nothing landed yet from Roberts. He's Right now, he's just posting with that left hand. But what he wants to do is post, kind of force Gross to want to push into it again and then let the elbow just slip down and, and look for ground and pound. Yeah, they need a couple underneath the chin, and then there's that elbow. And he's looking for that neck. He's relentless with letting you know, I'm looking for the submission. If you put your head in the wrong spot for one second, Roberts is going to grab a hold of it and try to choke you out. Four first-round finishes out of his five victories for Roberts. Beautiful job there from Roberts. See how he just controlled that right arm of Gross. Every time he tries to posture on it, he grabs the wrist or grabs a, a, his bicep and pulls it in. He's looking for that neck. He's relentless with this guillotine choke. Nice elbow. See, and that's deterring Gross from posturing up or trying to get an underhook and get in because he's so worried about his neck getting grabbed. Nice little short shots as well. Just over two minutes to go here in the first round of our featured bout of the night. Roosevelt Roberts in control for most of this first round as he continues to crank on that neck of Garrick Rose. I think for Roberts, one of the things he can do to really set that up, and he's kind of doing it now, is he, he almost should give Gross a little space or get more relentless with the ground and pound, and that's going to give the confidence or the urgency to Garrett Gross to try to stand back up, and that's when he really leaves his neck exposed. See, like this. Now he's trying to work his way up. But man, Roberts just relentless, doing a great job of staying on top, pressuring, and grabbing whatever base that Robert, excuse me, that Gross has and pulling it out from underneath of him. Locks his hands on the double legs and takes a ride. Here we go again. Yeah, Gross trying to lock up his own guillotine, but it's from half guard. Really tough to finish it from here, especially against a guy who's very aware of what's going on on the ground, like Roberts. He uses his frame really well. He's very long. And he's using good ground and pound and, and just controlling it. And he's almost daring him to get up right now. Strength of glory. It's just he's in a tough weight class and a very full weight class, so he's really got to try to put a stamp on this. Both of these guys, if they want to get signed tonight, they've got to get a, an impressive victory. Just because the lightweight division is so saturated with talent. That's a good point. Watch the back of the here. Just over 30 seconds to go here in the yeah. first round. Just and Roosevelt Roberts is 
been in full control basically this entire time. Yeah, and he, the pace he's keeping right now is, is what can really break an opponent. He's constantly ground and pounding, changing positions, changing his, you know, what he's hitting you with, whether it's all There's or big punches right there. Right to the chin. Ooh. And he looks for the next. See, always following it up with a submission attempt. But there's short time left in this round. I don't know if he's going to be able to get him out of there. But so far, dominant round for Roberts. Everything as advertised. Roosevelt Roberts dominates that first round. Don't let him back you up anymore, okay? <laughs> yes. Breathe. You gotta win this round, okay? You gotta win this round. A little tighter on the ground, huh? You have your hips a little high, huh? Take a breathe. Okay. Get ready to pop that jab. He's gonna have to look for that uppercut right now. Mm -hmm. Step off to that jelly now. Here we go, this was up against the fence, got that underhook on the left side and kind of dragged him down, but then he gets his back and just does a great job, just lat dropping him right there. And as Garrett Gross finally got back up to his feet, Roberts did a beautiful job locking his hands and just the ground and pound, he's constantly busy. That was, a, that really had Gross hurt right there. If that wasn't towards the end of the round, we could have seen Roberts work towards the finish. Gonna be curious to see if Gross listens to the coaching in the corner and tries to push the pace here. They said he's gonna win this round. That, my, my only problem with that is that's all they say. You gotta win this round. It's like, well. Coach him up a little bit. Yeah, I know that, but right. you know, look for the uppercut or look for an overhand or let's let's <laughs> let's get on top this round. Beautiful. Nice little knee tap there from Roberts. Really showing who the better wrestler here tonight, especially for MMA is. Because there's a difference. You can be a really good wrestler coming out of high school, but that doesn't necessarily mean that you can translate that into the sport of MMA. And we see that Roberts mixes it up well. He's got good jiu-jitsu, good wrestling, and he uses his strikes to set all that up. Right in the mount. He's just so cagey. He, he, yeah. the, the way he He's moves. on you the whole time. Constantly. Constant pressure. Let's see if he postures up here, starts looking for some elbows. Because at this point, Gross has is, is got to be frustrated. He's got to be knowing he's behind, knowing he's getting outclassed on the mat. He's got to really get desperate here to get up to his feet and start landing those punches again. Because he showed a, just a short little bit of success there in the opening of round two with some punches, but immediately Roberts takes him down to the ground. And, and the best way to get to the feet. Right here, well, first of all, he's got to get out of this position. Right now, his arm is trapped, and Roberts pretty much got full mount. So he's got to hip escape here. He's got to get his leg and get back to half guard, and then use the fence. But I don't know if he's going to get a chance to get hard pound from Roberts. He's look, man, these guys are making it so hard for these picks tonight. Some, oh, many, many UFC ready guys, in my opinion, tonight. And if the fight keeps going at this pace, Roberts is showing that he is as well. Go the Beautiful ground and pound. And he's looking, here we go. Ground and pound, looking for the submission. Unlike oh, people who we were talking about, he gets the tap. And that's it. Impressive performance from Roosevelt Roberts. Our last fight of the night. Look at Dana. Look at Dana. Dana I Mike's just having to hand out a whole bunch of contracts tonight. You know what I mean? Dana, Dana has to give out three. Yeah, I mean, there's, there's three guys who are, who are I, I agree. UFC ready. I agree that Heinish, Griffin, and now um, Robert. Roberts, is, yeah. is they're all very UFC ready. And young kid, 24 years old. Good experience. What's he, 6-0 six, six six, oh now? 6-0 oh now. With six, six finishes. All, yeah. How about that record? And here, round two. He just, a beautiful knee tap there. Just gets the underhook on the far side and presses in and gets, gets the leg. And just from here, it was just, he outclassed him. I mean, beautiful elbows, punches, transitions, takes the back, gets the choke. It, it, it's just, and here you go. Just when he's got him hurt, same as Griffin, sinks in that rear naked choke as tight as it could possibly be and gets the tap. 
Let's see. I think he also was capable of getting the hand. Yep. Slide. Uh, he didn't get it quite as far. And he didn't need it because of the position on the cage there. I'm, in, I'm impressed. Well, a lot to be uh, impressed with tonight. Laura Sanko, take it away. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Jason Herzog has called a stop to this bout at 2 minutes and 13 seconds of round number two, declaring your winner by submission due to rear naked choke, Roosevelt Roberts. Yeah.